So this video is going to be an awesome video. It's going to show you all the great programs that we have, all the great staff that we have at Eastmark, and just get you really excited about becoming a Firebird. So I hope you find it informative. I hope that uh, you enjoy it, and go Firebirds! Hey there Firebirds, my name is Mr. Otero. I'm part of the Social Studies Department here at Eastmark High School. Whether you're a junior high student or a high school student, Social Studies offers a variety of topics and activities for you to participate in. There are DBQs, discussion-based questions. There are C3 inquiry projects. There are Socratic seminars. But the most important part is that you are utilizing these skills to find a context in the government, in society, and in a global context. So we'd love to see you here at Eastmark and participating in our fun activities. Hi, my name is uh, Mr. Roth. I'm the science department chair here at Eastmark High School and uh, I just wanted to share with you a little bit about science here at our school. Uh, coming in as a junior high student, um, you're going to be taking Science 7 and Science 8, which covers a little bit of everything. We got a little bit of physics, chemistry, biology, and earth science. It's a great time. You get to do a couple of labs and learn some neat things in there about how the world works. Um, as you advance up through high school, uh, you'll be able to take several courses in biology, uh, chemistry, physics. Uh, we also offer human anatomy and physiology. Uh, environmental science, and we also offer courses at the AP uh, level as well, and the honors level. Uh, so in all of our courses, we, we really aim to get hands-on experience as much as we can, get kids in the lab doing activities as much as we can, alongside all of the learning that we do in the classroom. But basically, the overall idea with science is that we just learn how the world works. We learn how we work as people, how our bodies work, how the environment works, um, and how everything is interdependent upon each other. Hi there, my name is Allison Smith and I'm the math department chair here at Eastmark High School. I'm here just to talk a little bit about some of our math course offerings. So we start down at the seventh grade with our seventh grade math course. That is generally for students that have taken and passed sixth grade math, obviously. We also have an accelerated honors seventh math class. If you're in the honors six math class over at um, one of our feeder schools or you've been at an accelerated um, program or school, you might want to be, uh, be looking at the honors seventh math course. Then for 8th grade, we have our 8th grade math, um, and for the, that accelerated group again, we have the um, Honors Algebra 1 course, so they're starting their high school curriculum possibly in 8th grade. Okay. So those are our middle school offerings. For our high school classes, we start all the way down at the bottom with Algebra 1 and work our way up to many, many options. So a normal freshman will take Algebra 1, and then um, move on to geometry as a 10th grader, algebra 2 as an 11th grader, and then they have some choices their senior year depending on how they're doing and how they're feeling with their math. So we offer pre-calculus for dual enrollment credit through uh, Chandler Gilbert Community College. We will also start to offer a quantitative reasoning class that can also be dual enrolled. So those are some new offerings that will be coming. Um, if you're more on an accelerated track, like you've taken Algebra 1 in 8th uh, grade, then you'll most likely be taking Honors Geometry in ninth grade, Honors Algebra 2 in 10th grade, um, and then probably Honors Pre-Calc as a junior. And we have some great opportunities then to go beyond that. We are offering AP Calculus AB this year for the first time and will continue to do so. We also hope to open up AP Statistics and maybe even an AP Calculus BC course as well. So lots of different math offerings, uh, lots of stuff to learn, lots of content. So check out our course catalog, and if you have any other uh, questions, feel free to reach out at any point. 
Welcome to eSmart. Hello, my name is Jason Stahl and I am the Career and Technical Education Department Chair. Here in Career and Technical Education, or CTE, we focus on teaching students the why for their future. In math, English, science, social studies, they focus on the what. But we answer the age old question of why do I need to learn this? That students pose regularly. At ASMARC we have four CTE academies. Each academy has a specific focus behind it where students get a chance to not only apply their knowledge but also grow as professionals in these organizations. The Bliss Academy, which stands for Business, Leadership, and International Studies, focuses on teaching students skills for business. Our second academy is the FAME Academy. And the FAME Academy stands for Fine Arts and Media Entertainment. For CTE, the FAME Academy focuses on digital media. Our third academy is the MASH Academy, which stands for Medical and Social Health. Students in these programs focus on learning about medicine. Finally, we have our STEM program. Our STEM program, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math, focuses on teaching students about engineering science and computer science classes. All of our CTE programs are run by industry professionals who have credentials in career and technical education. Not only do they have the ability to teach as outlined by the state of Arizona, but these, in, these individuals have shown expertise in their related in, industries. For instance, myself, I was a theater design professional before I ever went into education. This allows students to learn actual industry practices and prepare them for industry skills. Speaking of industry skills, students in CTE also get the opportunity to take an industry certification exam. Industry certification exams allow students to show their expertise in industry related programs and processes. These exams are set up by companies like Adobe, Autodesk, Apple, and OSHA, not to mention many others. As a part of their studies, students can take these tests to further their knowledge and prepare themselves for beyond the classroom. In addition to teaching students technical skills related to their industry, all students participate in our professional skill standards, a unique thing specifically for CTE. The professional skill standards have us teach students soft skills that allow them to be prepared for a, a future in industry. No matter a student's journey, whether they come and take one class from one CTE program or a wide variety, here at CTE, we're about finding your path. For more information about our individual CTE programs, you can contact any of their teachers for those individual programs. Hola. Hello, my name is Carmen Ramstall. I am a Spanish teacher here at Ismark High School, and we would like to let you know some of the programs that we are offering here. We are offering Spanish 1, 2, 3, and we also offer dual enrollment for Spanish 3 students. During the Spanish classes, we do a lot of speaking, writing, listening, and we also do some skits for students to practice their language. We do some cultural readings and also we participate in different um, activities with the students so that they can expand their Spanish language. We offer in Spanish 1, we have the introduction of vocabulary words and some basic concepts. In Spanish 2, the students continue to learn the language and the culture and in Spanish 3, we'll build upon the Spanish 2 concepts in, um, of grammar and vocabulary and we have the students practice more communicative skills. Welcome to Ismark High School. Hi, my name 
my name is Miss Petruzzi. I teach ceramics here at Eastmark High School. I teach ceramics one and two. Uh, what you would expect to learn in ceramics one is basically the three hand building techniques as well as the potter's wheel. And then from there, we expand your knowledge um, by doing different projects. Ceramics two, you're, you already have your base so we're going to just expand that knowledge by uh, pushing the envelope, learning, you know, little techniques um, to add um, style and complexity. But overall, we're just expanding your, your knowledge of the basics. Hi, my name is Cynthia Catchpole, and I'm here just to let you know it's time to ride my class schedule tonight. I don't know what I should choose. So many different electives. I'm not sure what I will do. Confusion howling like this swirling storm inside. Can't make up my mind. Heaven knows I've tried. Should I take art? Should I take dance? Should I give orchestra a chance? No right, no wrong, no rules for me. I'm free. Join the choir, drama too. Don't hold back anymore. Join the choir, drama too. Come and see what lies in store. Here I stand on the East Mark stage, embarrassing myself. Come perform next year with me anyway. Hi, I'm uh, Dan Shore, Mr. Shore to the students. Um, I'm one of the visual arts teacher here at Eastmark and um, I teach an intro to art class for the high school and also art one to the junior high. Um, do have a ceramics class this semester. And um, anyways, the intro to art class is basically a class where students who have probably never had any art are introduced to a lot of the elements and principles of art is where we start and um, just learning how to use different mediums uh, with pencil, pen, um, with um, chalk pastels, oil pastels, a little bit of uh, different colors there and uh, knowing how to apply these in different ways and then uh, of course a study of art history is introduced um, a little bit of you know the background of different art movements and different art styles are given to the students and uh, th this also is actually in both the junior high and high school um, they have a lot of similarities to them uh, so a student that may be in junior high has done some art and then they continue here at Eastmark into intro to art will actually be able to um, further in their skills uh, that they've learned already um, and those elements and principles of arts uh, will be reviewed once again and then used in many ways um, as we do different projects. So um, we have done just did different things with the students like in the, uh, for, or, yeah, in the first semester having them use uh, understand the techniques of pen um, we did uh, insects and so that was interesting for a lot of kids they using the pen as a, a medium to draw with and then with junior high for example pencil understanding how to shade with pencil and we did a project of what we call shattered image which is based off of uh, the cubism movement and the style that Picasso and other artists have. So basically that's um, the art class, the visual arts classes that we have here that we offer um, along with some other art classes at this time. So thank you. Hi, 
My name is Mrs. Mosey. I teach sophomore English and sophomore English honors here at Eastmark. Uh, we're really excited to have our new students come join our awesome group of people here at the school. Um, here in the English department, uh, you can pretty much be guaranteed that yes, we'll be reading and we'll be writing, um, whether you're starting off at seventh grade or joining us later as a sophomore or junior. Um, each class, each grade level is focused on certain uh, texts that will comprise of nonfiction, fiction, um, and even plays. Uh, we also uh, offer an honors track that starts in seventh grade that goes all the way up through uh, sophomores. And then once you hit your junior year, that track leads into AP. So there'll be AP uh, language and AP literature. So we're really excited for you to join us and have a fantastic day. Rising up, taking flight, spreading our wings with spirit.